Hello everyone and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XRP. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XRP. And once again, this is the one day chart. We're sitting here just under 56 cents. And, you know, right now, so many people are frustrated about the price of XRP because Bitcoin is achieving new all-time highs. But if you really know what you hold, you, the gains you are going to make are going to be so much bigger than what you would have made if you would have put the money into Bitcoin. Bitcoin is only going to do maybe a 3 to 5x. XRP... I'm expecting a 50x plus on this cryptocurrency. Most of the people that do the charts every single day will agree with that. They're expecting a massive breakout to happen. They're expecting a run like 2018. And some people are gambling it all. Top crypto YouTuber sells his Lamborghini to buy XRP. No, it was not me. Miles G, a widely followed crypto trader with 150k YouTube subscribers, has publicly disclosed that he sold his Lamborghini to make fresh investments in XRP. Miles mentioned this in a post on Tuesday on X. However, the market pundit did not provide specific details regarding the sale of his exotic car, including the amount it was sold for, or whether all proceeds were directed towards XRP. He knows if he puts the money in now, he will be able to buy this car back in the coming weeks, over the coming months, and he'll be able to buy even a second Lambo, depending on how much he put into XRP. But they see what's coming. Anybody in this space right now that researches XRP, knows what's coming next. It's all right there for you to see. Breaking. 263 pro-crypto candidates win house seats, outnumbering 116 anti-crypto members. We, do, we did take the House and the Senate as well. This is why I said this is the one shot you got. You either take it or you get left behind. Because now that we have pro-crypto candidates in the House, the Senate, and we got Trump in the White House, we are going to push ahead. The United States is going to emerge as a crypto hub. Innovation is going to push ahead so fast in this country. And these cryptocurrencies, these utility-driven cryptocurrencies, they are going to be skyrocketing in price. Because now we're going to get to see the actual value of XRP, XLM, XDC, and so on. It's going to be a very exciting time ahead. This comes from Digital Assets Daily. There's not enough Bitcoin and the price can't get high enough to pay the debt. XRP, on the other hand, could easily, with its total supply and by design, the price could support it. Executive Order 13772, Trump knows Ripple and XRP. And I look at it like this, with the debt, I think they're going to try to tokenize all of the U.S. debt, unless we do some sort of reset, or we pay it off with something like XRP. I'm also going to do a video on Executive Order 13772, because you got to read through that. you got to understand what was in that executive order that Trump signed back in 2017. Biden then vetoed that bill, that executive order. And I think it was already too late. Everything was already set in motion. XRP operates with no political bias, meaning it can be used by anyone, anywhere, beyond central bank control. The issue is, while the world's eyes are fixed on Bitcoin, central banks have quietly partnered with Ripple to build the infrastructure that will enable them to use XRP. Take a listen. 
Uh, but now we have someone from the private sector, uh, uh, Brad Garlinghouse, who is the CEO of the financial technology company Ripple. I will start off by uh, also thanking Charles, thanking Thomas, thanking Christine. Uh, it's an honor to be included. And uh, as was introduced, uh, I think they saved me for last so that I could uh, talk about the, the, the private sector version of this. I also start by kind of explaining the basics of what Ripple is and what Ripple is not. Uh, Ripple is a private company. We're based in California, uh, about three or 400 employees around the world. And we're trying to solve a problem. We're selling technologies to banks and financial institutions to solve a cross-border payments problem. And Brad always had a seat at the table. What's going on right now is they are selling Bitcoin to the mainstream media. They're selling it over the mainstream media to the normies, the people that are just getting into crypto. And it's they're using it as a distraction. They want to keep people distracted from what the, what's really going on. XRP is already positioned to run on all those Ripple rails. And Ripple's been putting those rails in place for a decade. What do you think is going to happen when XRP goes live? All of a sudden, the smart money is leaving Bitcoin. That's going to happen day one. Once XRP starts to blast off, anybody that has any, any money in Bitcoin that money's going to shift and utility is going to be driving the price of XRP. It's going to be actual value. It's not going to be running on hype. This comes from Brad Garlinghouse. I've shared some thoughts on what the Trump administration could mean for crypto and wanted to also recognize the XRP family's patience and unwavering support. A lot has happened since XRP was the second most valuable digital asset. It's been at times a frustrating journey. Six years since the SEC started meddling in the crypto market, picking winners and losers. Four years since the SEC sued Ripple. And now finally, we see a light at the end of the tunnel as these external, frankly unnatural and manipulative market factors fade. The tides are shifting, headwinds are turning to tailwinds, and the opportunity for those of us who believe in the future for XRP is enormous. Brad's telling you as well, we are now going to see XRP have its day in the sun. We are going to see utility come for XRP. Because once we have a clear path forward in the United States, once regulations are in place, we are going to get big announcement after big announcement all day long of institution and bank after bank getting involved with RippleNet and XRP. That's what's coming next. Also from Brad Garlinghouse, if you needed even clearer evidence that the crypto voter is alive and well, here is the data. I hope the Dems find a way to hold Gary Gensler accountable for ignoring the law. He points out that Johnny Deaton did do very well in the Massachusetts Senate race. He got 40.4% of the vote. He actually outperformed Trump in Massachusetts. And I honestly wanted to see Johnny Deaton win. But at least we won't have problems with Elizabeth Warren going forward. UBS debuts blockchain-based payments tool, Digital Cash. Switzerland-based bank UBS has created and piloted UBS Digital Cash, a blockchain-based payment solution. The new offering is designed to allow for the programmability of money movements for the bank's corporate and institutional clients, UBS said, in a Thursday news release. Cross-border payments often lead to delayed settlements, they said. As a result, this creates a fragmented view of liquidity positions for companies. The aim is to increase transparency and security with blockchain-based payments via UBS Digital Cash, which should in turn facilitate 
timely payment processes. And you see, they're doing this in American dollars, Swiss francs, euros, and Chinese yuan. The pilots, pilot also included the transfer of liquidity between various UBS companies. And UBS is working with Ripple. UBS began testing Ripple technology in 2017 and officially joined RippleNet in 2018 to simplify its payment processes. And since then, they just went out and started putting rails in place, always expanding and growing. But all roads lead back to Ripple and XRP. That's why I said you could look at the price today and feel frustrated, but soon you will realize you buying XRP under a dollar was the greatest opportunity in your lifetime. So many people are going to regret not buying XRP. SWIFT's infrastructure can be used by financial institutions to scale multiple types of blockchain. SWIFT also explored the value of blockchain interoperability protocol. With this interoperability protocol, SWIFT can potentially connect to an unlimited number of blockchains. And it's not just going to be XRP. XRP is, or XLM is also going to be utilized. There's going to be other cryptocurrencies utilized inside of SWIFT as well. Because what they're doing is they're upgrading the outdated SWIFT system. And there's going to be a lot of different types of payments inside of SWIFT happening. Maybe it's around trade. Maybe it's person-to-person -person payments, cross borders. We really don't know because payments are endless. And I think different cryptocurrencies are going to be utilized for their actual use case inside of SWIFT. Institutional crypto market survey revealed that institutional investors are expecting high returns in 2024. As you see below, institutions were investing in this market through the first half of 2024 in anticipation of rising crypto prices at the end of this year. And that's what's happening right now. We're going to watch Bitcoin go on a absolute terror at some point i still think it's going to break above 100k but i don't think it's going to go above 120k who knows though there's a lot more momentum now that trump is the president of the the next president of the united states so maybe it gets a little bit higher than that but this is all playing out nothing changed this cycle at all Old season is still coming as well. And that's why I said, now is the time to not get discouraged. Now's the time to start getting excited for what comes next. Big statements from JP Morgan on blockchain as we head into 2025. Bullish on digital assets into next year. JP Morgan's advice on ISO 222. Don't wait until 2025. We're investing into ISO 222. In 2024, big banks like JP Morgan are tapping into blockchain's potential to enhance business operations and money transfers. And now openly stating that Trump's presidency will be beneficial for Bitcoin. Buckle up. It's going to be beneficial for all of crypto. But I think utility-driven cryptocurrencies are going to start to be adopted. We're going to see that the institutions come in first. And all of a sudden, that will lead to mass adoption over time. But we're going to have consistent upward movement as more and more companies jump on board with XRP. But don't get discouraged now. Now's the time you start planning. Maybe you take some profit next year. Maybe you start a business next year. You know, there's so many different things that people want to do with their crypto holdings. And there's nothing wrong with taking profit on XRP. It'll allow you to stay patient longer. 
it allow you to watch XRP achieve higher and higher price points. You know, because it's not going to happen in this run. XRP is not going to get all its value in this run. It is, however, going to start having utility push the price. And I would always tell you, never, ever sell your entire bag. But until it all happens, stay patient, stay positive, and let's get rich together. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.